Hi, welcome to Cluesy Clinic. I'm Claire and thank you so much for tuning into my frequency today. So today we're going to talk about butterflies. Well, not really, but we're going to talk about the part of the body that looks like a butterfly. Does anybody know what that would be? Thyroid, that's right. So your thyroid gland, it looks like a butterfly. So when people say I have butterflies, we all have butterflies, unless you've had it removed, of course. Your thyroid sits here. It's part of your, what they call the endocrine system. It plays a massive role in hormones. It regu if, if your hormones working properly, it helps regulate your metabolism. So it will tell you how to grow bones, burn fats, regulate your hormones. Its major food source is iodine. So if you don't eat fish or you're too scared to eat fish because of the massive levels of mercury that you'd be consuming with fish, then you can get some really good iodine supplements from a naturopath. Um, if you are on the Sunshine Coast and you want to know the best iodine in town, shoot me a message and I'll put you in contact with uh, some naturopaths up here which I believe have the best products on the market. They do post, so if you're in somewhere else in Australia, let me know and I'll put you in touch with them. But anyway, also I just wanted to talk a little bit about the thyroid and sometimes the thyroid gets a bad rap. So sometimes uh, people blame the thyroid for being too active. So, you know, there's too much thyroid hormones in the bloodstream. So therefore the thyroid is not functioning properly. It's too fast. But is it? Because the thyroid will produce hormone, T3, and it goes into the system, the liver, the gut, and the kidneys say, oh, well, the brain can't possibly use T3, so I'm going to convert it to T4, and then the brain can say, thank you very much, thyroid. Thanks, everybody else, for putting it into a form that I can take. So sometimes it's actually liver or kidney dysfunction and the thyroid gets blamed. So just make sure that when you are getting your thyroid looked at that you find a holistic doctor or a holistic practitioner, someone that looks at how all the systems interact because we don't want to blame poor little butterfly if it's the liver's fault. You know what I mean? And I've also seen a lot of clients in my clinic that have particularly had a very bad bout of glandular fever in their, uh, in their life, whether it's in their teens or their 20s. And then later, 10 to 15 years later, they develop you know, dysfunctional thyroid. So it's, you know, it can be related to your lymphatic system, which is your immune system, which we talk about all the time. It's the most important system in the body. It is the most under talked about system in the body, but without your immune system working properly and your sewage system working properly, nothing works properly and that can in fact impact your thyroid. So love your thyroid, it, has, it does a lot in common. If you notice you've got any swelling here and you're low in energy or anything like that, then please go to your doctor because sometimes the thyroids get really, really big and they can interfere with how you breathe and things like that, so you'll need to have them looked at. But, be, but I do suggest before you get them taken out or blamed for something, make sure you find a practitioner, whether it's a naturopath, a really good holistic doctor, a functional doctor, or someone that's practice, practicing ANF at a high level, like myself, that knows how, to, that all, how the body interacts together. We have multiple discs here that we can help support your thyroid. So please get in contact if you have thyroid issues. Love to help you. We have a fair amount of experience with thyroids in the clinic here. So we'd love to hear from you. All right, adios for now and have a great week. Talk to you next week.